Hey there, this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to make about the, the building of the cigar box guitar that I bought for my son for his birthday. Um, we bought the kit from Crimson Guitars and I'll put a link below to that. And today what we're going to do is the, the first few steps in the instructions. Now I did an unboxing video which goes through the instructions and tells you what all the steps are. There are basically 10 steps in the instructions and today what we're going to try and do is to do the first three steps and they are marking out which essentially consists of putting everything together working out how you want it all to fit together marking it with pencils and making sure that everything is going to to work because you need to have things like checking the height of your bridge and the height of your nut and where the strings are going to go and that they'll be at the right height above the fretboard and above the pickup. We need to work out also, for example, where to go. We have the Ultra Kit, which includes a single coil pickup, which is quite deep. And so we need to work out how we're going to fit that inside the neck. And um, also what we're going to do about, for example, fitting the nut. They include a bolt to use as the nut and um, we've been having a look at, at how exactly we need to fit that in and how deep it needs to be for the appropriate uh, string height. So we've been having a look at that um, and we still need to actually do the, the marking. Step two is gluing the fretboard to the neck. Obviously this needs to be glued in and um, we'll do that. I've got some glue somewhere, I've got some clamps of various types that, that we'll use and we're going to get some um, other bits of wood to put in between in order to protect the, uh, the neck and the fretboard from the, the clamps themselves. And then step three is preparing the body for the neck and there what we need to do because the, the, neck, the neck is going to go right through the cigar box and so we need to cut holes in either side so that the the neck can go through and also because the box is a little bit deeper than the neck we're also going to find another piece of wood that will go underneath the neck in the box so that we actually have a, a solid set of wood from bottom to top which we're going to glue in and also probably screw from the bottom to make sure that they are, they're all solid. So that's the plan for today. Um, I will video certain steps of this, not all of it, I don't want the video to be too long, and uh, we'll see how far we go. So let's get to it. Okay, well we're doing the marking out phase now. Now the first part of the marking out is that what Callum's done, which was a nice idea, is to buy some coins, some old Belgian coins, with little holes in them. And these, there are six of them, and three of them will go on either side of the neck at the end, um, basically to act as string ferrules. So this, there will be one on the bottom, one on the top, the string will string through the neck and through the two holes on there so that it doesn't then, it, it's held more stably and it won't bite into the wood when it's under pressure and going across. So we need to leave that much space coming out of the end of the uh, of the box. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. So, yeah. Because that way there's okay. a bit of space for rounding off. Pencil. Where the pencil? Oh, I'll just measure from both ends. We can use this. You think? Yeah, I think. Um, we, we square this up on here and then do that. So there we go. So that's for the tail. And what we think we need to do 
is to cut out the, the top part of this so that we can fit the box down there and the, the top of this will be at the same level as the top of the box and the fretboard will be a little bit higher and that way I think we get the right, um, the right string action and we also have enough depth to put the pickup in. So the second part of this is marking out on here where we need to cut. Okay. What we will do actually we will cut a little bit less and then file it down to the right depth. So I'm marking approximately the right depth but we'll probably cut about half a millimetre less than, than is marked and then we'll just keep checking and, and filing it down until it, it fits absolutely perfectly. So we also need to do the other side. Okay, what else do we need to mark? Well, the other thing we need to do is decide how many frets we, we're going to keep. Yeah. Because... I'm thinking 22 it. can probably be done. Yeah. Um, we don't want to go over the box because that will prevent us from opening it. We want to leave ourselves enough space for a headstock. I think that looks good. Okay. Let's check with the tuners. But anyway, we've got plenty of space there to make uh, a headstock. So I think that looks about right. So, for the purposes of gluing the the fretboard to the neck, then we can mark a line here. Uh, now what we, we think we've decided to do about the nut, which is a, a bolt, which is curiously, is to cut a groove in where the zero fret slot is here, and then we'll, we'll bed that in, the nut in here. Um, and then, let's bring this closer. And then the end of the fretboard, we're going to just cut down a bit so that it angles down into the neck. And it doesn't just come uh, at a 90 degree angle like that. We'll angle that down. So that we will do before we do. I think we're best to do that before we glue. Mm -hmm. So this will go. All right. Okay, I think we're done with all of the marking out. Step one. As you can see, it's rainy outside, but we're working under the awning so that any uh, sawdust just goes outside and can wash away in the rain. Callum is currently rasping down the piece of wood that we've cut, or one of two pieces of wood that we cut to go under the neck inside the, the cigar box to hold it stable. So I had a couple of pieces of wood like this and we've taken one of them and we've cut it into two 21mm thicknesses, sort of like that, each of which will go under the neck to support it inside the cigar box. And that's what Callum's working on now. As we cut them out using a jigsaw and cut it slightly large, so it needs to be filed down to the right size, the right thickness. We've also already cut the end of the fretboard off, so the um, 23rd and 24th frets with a hacksaw, and that made quite a decent job of it. This is the surface just having cut with the hacksaw and without doing anything else. So we just need to sand it down a little bit. There's a little bit of a burr on the end, but that's all.
kicsi. How did that work? And then I'll just uh, tidy Let's the see. end with the rasp, and that should. Uh, it's close enough, just a bit of tidying up to do. Mm -hmm. There's the. Um, okay, let's do the other one now. Uh, I'll just. Yeah, that's a good fit. And sideways, that's nice and clean. Yep. I'm happy with that. So what are you doing? Uh, marking the depth for a bit of this that's going to get cut off so that it just bumps up against there and there's uh, no measuring to do once we're fitting it in for real. And it's done. Good, good. And is there, did everything turn out alright with the holes? Uh, the holes were fine. This one was a tiny bit narrow. I filed it now. It's not quite a snug fit, but it fits. It's good. Right, so the idea yeah. is that these will go these underneath. underneath. If I can just coordinate my fingers. There we go. That's close enough. Um, that looks a bit high. Now, there's a good reason why this is high. Uh, no, there isn't. Um, yes, there is, because you're a Wally. Yeah, you're the one. Um, so he measured wrong. You measured wrong. Yes. You measured wrong. You measured wrong. You did the calculations wrong. Don't remember doing calculations. No, that's why you did them wrong. <clears throat> So those are a bit too high, which is better than being too low. Sure, sure. Because that should be mm. flush with the hole. Mm. So we will need to cut those down a bit. What are you doing there? Right, so now I'm cutting a little bit out the tail end so that it fits right. So yeah, that was one pencil. I need a pencil. off and now it's time to flip it round get it looking nice with this and so I have marked on this side and on this side the lines for cutting out the thickness of the lid here so that it can actually close How's it looking? Super fast. But no. it's getting there. 
Okay, so before we do any gluing, we should work out how we're going to clamp. Uh, now, can we? Yeah, can I was we thinking just on the edge of this, with those on top. Right. The idea was to just use these. Now, are these big enough to? So I would put these, two of these on the ends, and the G-clamp in the middle. Well, you can do it like that, and we'll, we'll put the G-clamp across the two in the middle, and then it'll spread it over more, I would say. I, I don't think this will help because the problem is no. I, I think I think just use the, the two. Just use the two. So that's the planning. And let's switch now, on the camera and execute. The is camera is on. Les surfaces à enculer doivent être propres. No. No, did I read that wrong? I think that's the instruction to something else here. Les surfaces à. Les surfaces à enculer doivent être propres, sèches et en contact. Good enough. Good. I know. Double check before you put it down that this is the right way around. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We are going to take a couple of pins. This doesn't matter because this will be, I'm doing it in the fret slot, it won't be seen. It's just to hold it in place and now it ain't going to shift around. Because when we clamped it, it started sliding. Tiny bit in the way. Tiny bit in the way. Let's do it like that instead. wipe off the excess glue that's come out of here because it's easier to wipe it off now than it will be to sand it off later. So let's look at the instructions. Number one marking out. Well we've obviously done all of that that we needed to do. Two gluing the, the fretboard to the neck which we've done slightly out of order. 
So we have glued, we've done step two, gluing the fretboard to the neck. Yep. Step three was preparing the body for the neck, which is this. So we have made the holes in here that the neck will go through. Um, we've also prepared pieces of wood, which are inside, which will go under here, beneath the neck, and after the, the glue has set on the neck, um, the next step will be, or one of the next steps will be to glue those bits of wood underneath here, so that we can then put that in the box. We haven't cut out the sound holes, which was part of step three, but we decided that it's better to wait for that until we've actually worked out where everything is going to go inside, and in particular where the pickup is going to sit and all of the other bits. So that needs to go in first before we actually design the sound holes. So we'll do that a bit later. We've also done a little bit of um, preparatory work on the neck um, in terms of doing a little bit of shaping at the tail and um, more thinking about what to do with the headstock than actually doing anything yet. The next step will be um, essentially to work on getting this part prepared with the other bits of wood that we, we sorted out so that we can actually fit it into the, the body and also putting in the frets which will be a jolly big adventure as well. Yeah. Are we doing no. Putting in the frets, shouldn't that be after shaping them? No. It'll be easier to do that before because then we can we still have the, the flat surface of the underneath of the neck so that we'll keep it more stable as, as we're hammering the frets. So I think we put in the frets before we shape the neck. Um, the other thing that I need to do in the meantime is to go and order some more tools from Amazon because I don't have all of the tools that we'll need for the remaining processes. Um, we already struggled a little bit with not having a decent grasp today, which would have been useful. So that's one of the things that I'll get. And past that, how do you feel about the progress so far? Good. Start. We haven't messed anything up too badly so far. Nothing's completely screwed up, so... Any um, slight errors that were made were always on the right side, so that we can then cut a little bit more in order to correct it. Yeah. So I think that's a good start. Yep. Okay, next episode, possibly next weekend. Probably. Probably. We'll see. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>